Oh, I'm excited about this one. We're talking about Earth from another sun. Built on the Solana blockchain, this is a galactic scale MMORPG that runs on its own where any player can change the world. Right, 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 but let's pull back a little bit. My name is The Inspector. You're about to be mind blown. If it's your first time seeing one of my videos, consider subscribing so you never miss out on any future videos. And also, if you do happen to enjoy it, also leave a like. It helps me out a lot and it's only half a second for you. With that being said, I don't want to waste time today and let's get this show on the road. Unlike many games that I cover on this channel, this one I have sat down and played for myself, the alpha version. And if you're interested in checking out the alpha version too, I could hook you up with some keys. Let me know in the comment section if that's something you want. This is a play to earn game. It is a blockchain game where you can play and earn. They have their own token. So what is Earth from another sun or FUS? This is what we're gonna call it from now on. What does it do better than other crypto games? What does it do better than other MMORPGs? First of all, in any battle on FUS, you can have 1,000 individual units on the battlefield, so intergalactic scales. It is fully played to earn, built on the blockchain with NFT support. We will talk about the earning potential, as well as their token use cases later on in the video. Right now, it's important to mention that they're available on Steam, yes, on Steam, the gaming giant Valve has allowed this game to be on their platform Steam. They have articles written about them on IGN, another gaming goliath. And the most important thing that they're going for here is to have the three pillars of a good MMORPG that barely any MMO nowadays has. Number one, it has a huge number of things to do and discover. Number two, it runs on its own. And number three, any player can change the world. Now, when I say MMORPG, I mean MMORPG in the sense of a true metaverse sandbox built on the blockchain. Of course, a Web2 MMORPG cannot run on its own. They have the central servers and they cannot run on their own. Now, being a crypto game built on Solana, they can do that. They can run on their own. They can have a DAO that runs everything and one player can change the entire trajectory of the game. Now, while they're still in the alpha version right now, they don't cover all the three pillars, but they do aim to cover all three of them as they get closer to their official launch. There's some other challenges that they will face and this is one of the talking points that we will also have in this video and you can click down there where you, where you have the timestamps and you can pick and choose which part of the video interests you the most and which one uh, you want to see so you can click that also in this video we're gonna be talking about the whole landscape of crypto games where they're at right now and where I think they're going the challenges that FS will face showing you all the ways that you're gonna be able to earn inside of this game the use cases for your coins and tokenomics and now you've seen glimpses of the gameplay trailer here and there throughout this video so far now I want to show you the first 30 minutes of my experience with the game narrowed or shrunk down to only two minutes of high impact high intensity entertainment let's go so here's what happened i chose my name of course i went with inspector then i met with barbara super cool chick give me command of her whole fleet this is me by the way looking like a super cool super villain but i am the hero of this story so i took barbara's fleet and went on to hunt some space pirates. Went around this sun system, found a pirate, and this is how it works. I do some reconnaissance, see if they're tough or not, and I decide to fight them. Create this gravity field around them, so we have actual solid ground to fight on. So I pulled up on the gravity field with the boys, kicked some alien butt, went back to the galaxy, found some more butts to kick, did the same thing all over again, two more times, until this guy came into the picture. Kaelian Dracos. He looks like a supervillain way more than me because he is an actual supervillain. You see Barbara trapped inside a capsule, desperately pounding on the glass. However, due to the vacuum of space, not a single sound reaches your ears. Suddenly, a bullet strikes and shatters the glass of the capsule. The pressure difference instantaneously ejects Barbara. Unable to breathe, Barbara struggles violently, trying to find a hint of oxygen, but space offers no mercy. The supervillain killed Barbara. I told him to go to hell. Then I met with Barbara. Super cool chick. I told him to go to hell and we had this massive 
massive fight for the glory of Barbara, who left me her whole fleet so I have to defend her glory. And that I did, kick the supervillain's ass, he had to flee, but that won't bring Barbara back, will it? So I was browsing around my ship, going up and down, seeing what's up, until I went back into space to try to find my planet Earth, or Elysia. Went to the city of Elysia just to see Barbara there still alive? No, but it's only a projection of Barbara there playing with my feelings. I don't think I'll ever get over imaginary characters in video games dying. I, you know, you know, you never like to see it, especially the ones that give you fleets, but it is what it is. Let's talk about the earnings the use cases for their tokens, the tokenomics, and everything in between. So some of the ways that you can earn KPL include completing adventures and mystery events, besting enemies, industry and crafting, so making weapons, ships, uh, performing repairs, providing services to other players can also generate KPL income. This is a true metaverse, it is not a single player game. You may have problems with specific pirates in space and you may not have enough gear and a big enough army to take them down, but I might. So you can pay me to take care of the problem for you. That is one of the things that I'm just thinking off on top of my head, but there's gonna be a bunch, a bunch of different things. It's a true metaverse and only your imagination is really the limit here. Now, players are also able to open their own shops, corporations, cartels as well, and generate profit in KPL. You can be a villain or you can be a hero. There are daily limits as to how much KPL can be earned per day, depending on a player's seniority. So that means time played, items owned, and achievements unlocked. You unlock achievements by playing the game. So basically, the more you play, the more items you're gonna own as well, and the more achievements you're gonna unlock, and the more you're gonna be able to withdraw on a daily basis, and thus, they're gonna be rewarding the players that are actually active within the metaverse. Of course, there's gonna be cosmetic NFTs involved, but also non-cosmetic NFTs, such as troops, vehicles, ships, companions. So these NFTs will play an important role in the PvP gameplay and other activities in the metaverse. So there will be also a marketplace where all the NFTs will be tradable amongst players. So they do work on a dual token system. They have the FS token, which is the governance token of the FS metaverse. Now, the EFAS token you'll be able to earn inside of the game as well, and you will get it only for achieving very big activities, for the lack of a better word. Let me give you an example. You've seen the star system I was flying around in the two-minute gameplay that I have shown you. Well, if I was able to get rid of the pirates, uh, set up a congress there, like like a political party to unify that star system, I will be rewarded with the FS token. These are extremely difficult achievements and only the most engaged of users can complete them. So fulfilling any of them merits a reward of the FS token and 40% of the total FS token pool supply will be allocated to these events. I've said it before and I'll say it again, in my opinion, the gaming tokens will be the lead leading tokens in the next bull market. They will lead the next bull market revolution, if you will. Last time it was NFTs, the time before that it was ICOs. Now, the next time, hopefully next year, some say this year, but I highly doubt it that the bull market is going to come this year. In my opinion, it's going to be next year and the gaming tokens will be at the forefront because the games coming out right now, built on the blockchain, look absolutely ridiculously good. Like, just look at EFAs. This is in the alpha stages. It looks amazing. I wish they had some voice acting and there's other challenges they're gonna face and we're gonna talk about that shortly. But gaming tokens will lead the next bull run. I am absolutely certain of that and I want to be in the forefront on YouTube for that 100%. I've been an advocate for crypto gaming since 2021. I will continue to be an advocate for crypto gaming because I think that earning money for playing games is absolutely ridiculous. It is amazing and you know, on this channel, we talk about all the different ways you can earn money with crypto. And most of the time we talk about crypto games because it's the most fun way to do it. Of course, you can buy an NFT and stake it. There's nothing fun about that. There's nothing you do that's actually enjoyable in that other than the fact that you're going to be earning money through staking. But anyway, no one's done it quite right just yet. No one's done a game right. 
a crypto game because for a crypto game you need great gameplay you need amazing in-game economy and people need to have sustainable earnings so it is not enough just to have amazing gameplay that's for web 2 games if you're a web 2 game all you need is good gameplay good gameplay loop good story you're good for a web 3 game for a crypto game for a blockchain game if you will you need way more than just an engaging story and good gameplay you need actual real world economy built inside of your game built on the blockchain built so that it's impenetrable that the hackers can get through that it's secure built in a way where it's gonna keep producing new rewards for new players so people can keep earning money and built in a way where you don't need more players to keep coming on and buying NFTs in order to pay out the old players. That's a Ponzi scheme. You, you need to think of something way better. We've talked about this a lot of times and as you can see, I'm very passionate about this issue. I, I want everybody to get paid, especially the free players as well. If you put a lot of time in, there's got to be a way for you to get paid as well without even investing into anything. It's possible. No one's just done it quite right just yet. But someone will do it right. Will Ephas be the first one to do it right? We'll see. But thus, the entry barrier on most high-earning titles needs to go away. With that out of the way, with the entry barrier out of the way, with everybody getting paid equally, and all of that being totally sustainable, that game will have longevity. And the first game that has actual longevity, with good gameplay, great, amazing, in game economy will be a maybe a trillion dollar asset now think about that no game in web 2 is a trillion dollar asset barely any real company is a trillion dollar asset bitcoin is not even a trillion dollars right now but it was at the all-time high it was over a trillion dollars but only bitcoin now in order to get there there's a lot of challenges so first of all fs especially faces some brutal challenges it is an mmorpg it is a metaverse it needs a huge player base you're gonna have to attract a lot of players and those players need to stay there i gotta give them a reason to stay of course a good gameplay loop all the things we just talked about from the crypto gaming landscape efas will face challenges with their in-game economy every single crypto game faces challenges with their in-game economy because we don't have a strategy at this point that really works there's nothing proven to work and last a very long time axie infinity has lasted for a while but still even their economy desires a lot to be improved on so they will have challenges with it i hope they will rise above those challenges but they will have challenges with the in-game economy as will every single crypto game until one gets it right once they do everybody just copy and paste very simple but the first one to get it right might just be the first ever gaming trillion dollar asset now another challenge fs will have is onboarding web 2 gamers this is what they're going for they're on steam they have ign writing articles about them it is obvious that they want to attract web 2 gamers or regular gamers now if those regular gamers could just jump in and have fun that's cool and then as they're having fun they can see that oh this is actually uh, an nft so this is what an nft is huh I didn't know. So if they can generate that kind of reaction from a Web2 gamer, that's amazing. If they straight up go for, yes, we have NFTs and you can earn in our game, I think that Web2 gamers will avoid those types of games, mostly because they don't understand how it works and when they hear the word NFTs, they think of scams. Because there have been a lot of scams in the NFT space, there have been a lot of scams in the crypto gaming space as well. They're just how every single new space space works and we've talked about this recently in the most recent video we've talked about this we, we talk about this all the time that's just how it works unfortunately that's how human humans work now another challenge it might face is being compared to other galactic scale games such as starfield which is coming out in september by bethesda it's looking absolutely crazy it looks like one of the best galact galactic galaxy type of games that i've ever seen uh, they might be compared to no man's sky as well so in fs you have cutscenes or loading screens rather where you go from the planet to your ship and from your ship to space in no man's sky there's not a single loading screen ever you go into your ship and you fly out in space and it's so good it is so amazing and this is a game from 2013 or 14 i'm not i'm not 100 sure but it's a very very old game at this point and they have this so 
Uh, of course, they can't have it in FS because it is an MMORPG after all, it would take so much more computing power to pull something like that off. But No Man's Sky is multiplayer as well, so and they have pulled it off, so, you know, I, I'm just saying, it, it'll, it'll face these challenges. I mean, even now, I'm comparing it to it, and I'm like, mm, why don't you have this? But it is what it is, after all, it is an MMORPG, it is a metaverse, so it, it'll always be better than No Man's Sky. A metaverse, a crypto game, will always, always be better than a non-crypto game, in my opinion. Because a crypto game, while it's also fun, the same way a Web2 game is fun, a crypto game actually has assets I can own. A crypto game has in-game economy, you just cannot compare the two. A crypto game will always, always be superior in my eyes. Now, that being said, we're still in the alpha stages, right? A lot of room for improvement, and that is what the alpha version is for. To show the community what you have so far, and to have the community come back to you with ideas. That's what the alpha stage is for. That's why they have done this. It's amazing that they're on Steam, and if you also want to try the alpha version, I'll be giving away codes. So in order to get a code, just tell me in the comment section down below, give me a code. That's all you gotta do, and I might contact you and give you the code. I think I will have around 10 codes to give away. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I wasn't paid to do this. I've only talked to them on Twitter. I was like, I'm gonna make a video about this. Is there any way I can get codes to give away to my community? That's... It. You know, guys, I'm always transparent uh, when it comes to sponsorship deals, and this is not sponsored, so just say. Anyway, uh, that's the bottom line. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, review of FS. If you want me to do more reviews of crypto games, let me know. And yeah, until next time, bye, and uh, stay awesome. Stay awesome.